Today, I'm going to be ranking every skin in Clash of Clans. That includes the King, Queen, Warden, and the Royal Champion, and we're going to be doing that in tiers S, A, B, C, and D. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I hesitated because I thought my opinion would be way too biased for a fair ranking, but after thinking about it for a little bit, it was just like, wait a minute, f that. The entire point of the ranking is my opinion. Why the hell should it matter, right? So. Here we are. Right off the bat, we're gonna start with the Barbarian King first. I originally had his default skin at B as a middle ground type of thing, but I'll say the OG skin is better than some of the skins at B, so I'm gonna put it at A. Skeleton King. This one was arguably the most unique skin of 2019. I really love this skin. It just works, and also I'm a huge fan of dungeon crawlers and Skyrim. So the Skeleton King reminded me of that stuff. It's a dope skin. This is for sure going in S. Rogue King. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I hate the color combination. What the f is that? Not only that, the first time I saw this, it looked like he had a pumpkin on his head. What is that supposed to be? Is that his hair? It looks weird, man. It's gonna be a B. I don't like it. Fierce King. Okay, now we're talking. This skin looks badass. It looks like a combination of Thor and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> and I'm a fiend for history, so I like Viking stuff and pirates and gladiators. For a Viking skin, though, you can't go wrong here. S all the way. If there was an S+, plus, it would be in there. Pekka King. I really dig the Pekka King. If this was like 2020, it would have been way up on the list, but you can definitely tell it's one of the older skins. It's okay, but not something I'd want to use today. There's so many other better options. I'd say it's a B. You know what I would put at S though? Today's sponsor, Zuba Zoo Battle Arena. I was asked to show my dank battle royale skills at Zuba, a new mobile free to play battle royale brawling game that consists of 45 players at a time. And boy, am I good at it. <laughs> Just kidding. Zuba is still a fairly new game, but with over 116 million downloads, you've likely heard of it. You jump into a match with a choice of 32 warrior animals, each with unique abilities, attacks, and try and rock everyone's world with three types of weapons you can pick up from around the map or taking someone out. Not only that, but you can also equip additional items to your character to make them even more powerful. And if you want to team up with your friends or random, simply hop into a team versus team match and fight against other teams and help each other out. For example, reviving your teammate. And if that's not enough, you have loot boxes to help you find new characters, items, and all kinds of loot. So what are you waiting for? I have a special link down below where you can download the game and receive some in-game goodies. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Now, back to the video. Gladiator King. This was the first skin for the king, so I can't be too harsh, but honestly, it's one of my least favorite skins. It literally feels like they just put a helmet on him and called it a day. See? Jolly King. Honestly, being the only Christmas-themed king, it's very basic. Of course, it's also old, so that explains that, but I'm gonna go with C because it's just not all that crazy to be higher up on the list. The Primal King is dope. I like the bear and the change of the sword. I believe this was the first skin without, like, a sword that looked like a sword. <laughs> so that was cool. But if I'm being real, it's gonna be B because it's just not something I would use. Clockwork King. I see a lot of hate on the Clockwork series, I don't really understand it to be honest. I actually like the Clockworks, and for the King, it's an A. It just looks so dumb and gimmicky like a Lego figure, and that's probably why I like it. Party King. Okay, I'm incredibly biased with the party skins, but the Party King isn't that bad. I'm gonna say C because I like the choice of colors here, but uh, that's about it. Champion King. I remember this was that one skin that looked like he was holding a giant f torch. <laughs> they ended up fixing it, kind of. I mean, it doesn't look any better. It looks different, but not better. At least they tried. I was gonna say A, but honestly, the skin just looks a tad bit weird uh, as well, so <laughs> I'm sorry. It's gonna go in B. Pirate King. I dig the skin, but the eyeliner. I mean, they didn't have to do that. I know actual pirates used to do this sometimes, and I guess the Pirates of the Caribbean popularized that thing, but it, it, the king, he looks really weird. He just looks kind of off to me. Still, I think the skin is great. It's gonna be a B from me. Warrior King. He looks dope. I just think there's way better king skins, so B is gonna be today's middle ground. He just doesn't look all that unique to be A or S. Jungle King. I, um... 
I don't like it. <laughs> it's the colors. I would never, even if I got paid, use this skin. I'm sorry. I just, it's ugly, man. It might be too harsh or it might be reasonable. I just don't like the color combination. It looks weird. It, nah. Beat King. I gotta be real with y'all. Party skins are just not my thing. When I think of a hero, I don't picture a king on a f keyboard. That isn't to say that I dislike all of the party skins, but yeah, the highest I'll go with this skin is C because there was a lot of effort put into this one, so it's definitely not B. Golem King S. Don't even question it. Shut up. Y'all know I'm a big fan of the Golem and this one looks pretty sweet. Also, it's huge, man. It's just like it feels like you have a completely different hero and I love it. It doesn't feel like a skin for the king. It looks like a literal golem king and I find that cool. Ice King. I'm gonna go with A for this one. You can tell it was heavily inspired by the Ice Wizard and it looks pretty sick. I gotta say though, not S because I wish his sword was a little more detailed. In the game, it kind of looks like it's a plastic blue sword. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one that sees it like that, but it just looks a little off and fake. But yeah, other than that, it looks pretty sweet, man. Lunar King. This one looks badass. It's incredibly different from a normal king. I'm gonna go with B though. It's just not my taste, although I know it looks pretty sweet. It's just, it's not my taste, man. I don't know. Also, in the game, it just looks a little weird to me. Maybe that's why. Sorry. Shadow King. All the way at the beginning of A. It was almost S, but I just wish they had made the clothes a bit more dark gray and black instead of brown. I mean, really brown? Also, his hood looks ridiculous. Still, I love all the shadow skins. Kind of gives the game a darker tone. Uh, yeah, I love them. Summer. No. Just no. Some of the summer skins are dope, but this one ain't it, man. I, I hate it. Pixel King. When these skins appeared in the shop, I did not hesitate. I hate using the word cute, but <laughs> they're cute, man. Look at the little cute king. You either hate them or love them, and for me, I love them. Not quite A though, I think S tier has way better skins to offer. Clash Fest King. For being the most recent king skin, I actually think it looks too, too basic and bland. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's not something I was hyped to get. Matter of fact, I don't even think I'm gonna complete the pass. It just doesn't look worth it. So C tier seems like a good spot. All right, moving on to the queen skins now. This motherf got some goofy ass skins for real, but the default, she's bad as hell. <laughs> it's gonna be A. If the queen never had skins, I wouldn't even be mad. Minor Queen. Yes, the memes were kind of cringe, but the skin is actually pretty dope. Something about her, I don't know to be honest, but it's gonna be A tier for me. Summer Queen. This one's a slight improvement over the Summer King, but I'm still not a huge fan of it. Honestly, this was the perfect opportunity to quench everyone's thirst and put her in a f bathing suit. <laughs> just kidding. That's not the reason that I put her so low, it's just that she looks kind of funny with the excessive sun protection, but I guess that's what the queen would do in real life, right? I had this at D, but I'm gonna move it up a little bit because it's not that terrible, you know? Pixel Queen. I think you should expect me to say A for all of these. So yeah, get used to it. I love them all and the queen is no exception. Gladiator Queen. This made the Gladiator King look like a piece of shit, bro. This is one of my favorite queen skins, but not one of the best, so A. Valkyrie Queen. This one's all right. Definitely not up there with the greats, but I dig it. As a reminder, B is like the middle ground, in case people were skipping to the middle of the video. B is like, uh, okay. <laughs> Ice Queen, B. The king did it better, I'm sorry. Probably one of the only times I'll ever say that. Warrior Queen. Automatic S. I really like this skin. It's so detailed and she looks like a badass, bro. Also, the colors just work. Everything in the skin complements each other. Before the pixel skins came out, I was rocking this one the entire time. Primal Queen. I don't know what's up with some of these primal skins. I don't like this one. It's not terrible, so definitely not D, but I think it could have been better. Just the whole primal series. I don't know. Clockwork Queen, obviously the best skin in the game. If you got a problem, shut up. <laughs> Just kidding. But because it's such a meme at this point, I'm gonna go with S tier to bother everyone. There's probably gonna be people skipping to the middle of the video and then wondering why Clockwork is at S. <laughs> the comment section in this video should be a fun place. Pirate Queen. 
This is my favorite pirate skin. They didn't add any unnecessary details. She legit looks like what you'd expect a pirate queen to look like. A tier, simply because I'm trying to reserve only the best of the best for S. Autumn Queen. This reminds me of the Valkyrie Queen, and honestly, I prefer this over that one. It's just better. A. Rogue Queen. Even though the same colors as the Rogue King, which is something I hated, at least the queen looks normal. I much prefer the hood she's wearing over whatever the f that was. I'm still not in love with the skin, but it's either gonna be B or C. Jungle Queen. I don't think it's as terrible as some at D, but I just think that there's better queen skins, even at C, so I'm sorry. I always feel bad for putting a skin at D, <laughs> I don't know why. Party Queen. I hate it, burn it. I don't know, man, she just looks stupid as hell. Champion Queen. This is gonna be A for me. I'm really liking the detail and colors here. I mean, that black and purple is sweet. Shadow Queen. The more you watch this video, the more you notice what I really like in a skin. And these shadow ones, I really like. They give off some dark Assassin's Creed vibes and I really dig it. I can't put this lower than S. I really love the colors and just the overall feel of the skin. All right, now we're at the Grand Wardens. The default went through some changes a few years back, but honestly, I didn't think either of them were all that. It's gonna be B for default. The Party Warden, I was gonna do B because I actually find this one okay, but you know what? His deploy sound is annoying as f It's like the sound of it is stuck in my head. So for that reason, I'm gonna drop it a little. It's because this was the only Warden skin for a long ass time. And you bet that everyone was rocking the skin. It just got a little annoying, but other than that, it's a great skin. Primal Warden. This was the second Warden skin that we got, I believe, and after waiting like six months after the Party Warden, God, this was a huge letdown. It just looks like he's wearing a bad costume and that's all. It's gonna be D, man, all the way at the bottom. Clockwork Warden. Like I mentioned with the King, I actually enjoyed the Clockwork series, so A. I don't know why it got so much hate. Uh, they're unique in a way that they're all like robots made out of wood, and for that reason, I find them kind of cool, man. It's just not something you would expect to be a hero skin, you know? Gladiator Warden. This one is dope. I had him at A, but after thinking about it a little more, there's not many Warden skins that I like that much. And this one has to be up there with my favorites. The skin creates like this higher being vibe and it fits with the hero. Definitely my favorite gladiator skin, especially how I love the era they're set in. Pirate Warden. This one looks a little different from the other pirate skins and it's pretty cool, though I'd say it's one of my least favorite Warden skins, so see. I don't know if this sounds stupid, but it's just not something that suits him. No pun intended. <laughs> Warden of the North. This is by far my favorite Warden skin. Well, I probably have like three favorites, but this one's one of them. The skin makes him look important as f If I was lost in the middle of but f nowhere Narnia, this would be the guy to follow. Also, I love when skins keep the colors consistent and simple and stick to a theme. And this one is a great example of that done right. Not too crazy, not too simple. Jungle Warden. Okay, this one's actually a solid jungle skin. I'm gonna go with B. I like how they incorporated the Dark Goblin in there. It is way better than what we got for the King and Queen in my opinion. Though I gotta say, from the trailer to the game, it does look a little funny in the game. <laughs> That's about it. Warden Master. I hope I don't get flamed for this one, but this ain't it for me. I mean, the skin looks dope. It's not that. I just don't think it fits the Warden. I'd much rather use something like the Warden of the North or the Champion one, so it's gonna be C. Jolly Warden. My wife actually hated this one, but I quite enjoy the Christmas vibes here, and I'd much rather use this than the Jolly King. I mean, the Jolly King was too simple. This one looks like he could be Santa Claus if he had a beer belly. I think A is where it should be. Warrior Warden. I didn't necessarily like this one all that much, so I'm gonna put it at B. I just think the Warrior series was a letdown in general, except for the Queen. Shadow Warden. Here's one skin I love a lot as well, and I think that's pretty obvious at this point. The black on purple, damn, that's sweet. I just think any color with black goes well, but other than the colors, I just love the dark and underworld vibes here. They really nailed it with that. Summer Warden. 
I don't know what the f they were thinking with this one, but no. The Summer Series was a huge letdown for me. I don't know. I just don't like him. There is one that I had a different opinion on, though, and that's the Champion Summer Skin. But we're not quite there yet. Pixel Warden. A. Like the other two, I just love them, and they've been my default since they came out. Champion Warden. This one came out a couple of days ago from when I'm recording this, and it's f***ing sweet, man. That's all the way. Though I have one complaint, I wish they had done something a little better or different with the helmet. It just looks too round and perfect. It looks plain. Other than that, he looks pretty badass. Alright, finally we're at the Royal Champion skins. She doesn't have many, but I say the ones she does are mostly good. So the default, I'm gonna go with B, simply because I think this next one is like a better default. The Winter Champion, that one I think is A. It reminds me of the Warden of the North, which I loved as well, so um, yeah. Summer Champion, <laughs> okay. Gonna do a little cheating here and say S because goddamn girl. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Shadow Champion. This one is tied with the Warden as my favorite shadow skin. I just love the dark fit here. It's simple, but it works. This is the color I wish they had made the Shadow King, by the way. I was talking about it earlier, how I wish they would have made it like a black or gray or something in between there. This color right here is perfect. Not only the colors, but this skin is just sweet. It's the ultimate stealth uh skin in my opinion there's not many skins in the game that are just like completely blacked out party champion i hate it and i don't know why they went with that. <laughs> out of all the things she could have been in a party theme it is so unlike a hero <laughs> but again i'm incredibly biased with these party skins but this one especially it's just i don't like it what the f is that man i'm sorry if you love this skin i'm sorry <laughs> rogue champion this one is alright, and out of all the rogue skins, this one has to be my favorite. I'm gonna completely ignore the colors here and put it at B. It's a pretty decent skin. Jungle Champion. This one is pretty solid as well. I just don't think it competes with the skins higher, so I'm gonna go with C. Gladiator Champion. This one's more up my alley in terms of what I like. I wouldn't say I love it though. There's just a few other champion skins that deserve to be higher, so I was comfortable enough putting her at B. Pixel Champion. You already know, the whole set goes in A. Primal Champion. In my opinion, the best Primal skin in the game. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the set, this has got to be like at the beginning of B. Not quite A, I just still, I wouldn't use it personally, but it's a pretty sweet skin. I can't lie. So guys, with that being said, that should be it for this ranking. That is a very large ranking. <laughs> I didn't expect there'd be that many skins, but apparently there are. Of course, this is all my opinion, so this might differ from what you see these skins as, but if you want to create your own list, I'll leave the link down below for this exact list so that you can do it yourself. So anyways, I think that should be it. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What do you think of my list? Uh, how does it differ from yours? Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.